purpose of this video, video is to show a part one connection, a two-way fault on the 9-lead 06E terminal plate. You start with the jumpers, uh, with the uh, Baker, Baker light boards, and when you put them on, understand that they can go on two ways. They go on this way or the reverse. This is the wrong way. This U will catch condensation, moisture, and cause a problem. They have to be downward. On the nine lead plate, what you do is you jump out four, five, and six. You install nuts on each one of these terminals. So when you, as you're doing these, as you're putting these on, you make certain that these, that the nuts are on each terminal because it, what comes next to the jumpers and so on. This is for the purpose of installing the plate. We don't suggest you use a high power gun and be very careful with a ratchet when you're doing this because these are pre torqued these should be torqued at no more than four to five foot pounds. The nuts that are under the plate they're pre-torqued and should never be disturbed. So even if you have to remove these nuts, you have to look to make sure you're not going to disturb the back nut. That's very important. More so is that as installing these, make certain that you're putting them on with the nut, like I said, without it, and we see it happen a lot of times, these are dropped down right on the Baker light. It overheats the plate because of the contact and it causes problems. This has a spot here, that's why there's a notch. They go in like this. And then when you're done, you put your nuts on the outside and here are your connectors, one, two, and three. So this is an across the line setup. And um, on a part wind, you just put your power leads here and here and here, and you're, and you're set. So, now when you're doing your resistance, what you do is you do one to two, two to three, three to one, record the resistance, then you do seven to eight, eight to nine, and nine to seven. The resistance should be even and equal on one, two, and three, and on seven, eight, and nine, it could be a little bit more than one, two, and three, but it has to be even and equal. Once you have that, you're all set to put your six wires on, and you have from contact to one, you set up, and contact to two, and these are your phases. One and seven, two and eight, three and nine are the same phases. So you got phase one, two, and three, part one, contact to one, on the part one, contact to two. One thing to make very certain when you're doing this is that if it doesn't come on all at once, make certain the time delay comes on within a second or under. Bang, bang, and you're done. Record these resistance readings to make sure that you know um, what they are when you ready to start the machine. And then as your wires go up to your contactors, you check on each set, primary contactor and secondary contactor, to make sure that they match the resistance here and it's even and equal. Once you determine that, it means the load wires are good, your connections are good, and you're good to start the compressor. That concludes the part one setup of the 06E terminal plate.